Well, uh, brace yourself because you're about to meet a new person. Yes. What do you who? It's time to meet my final guest. Uh, he's been warming up backstage. Hey. Let's bring him on for the last quarter. Please welcome Chelsea striker Didier Drogba. <laughs> Shuffle down a little bit, you sit there. Jesse, Didier, Simon, Didier. Oh, uh, bonsoir, Didier. Bonsoir. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Uh, how are you? I'm good, thank yeah, you. Yeah, very thank good. You. Because, uh, of course, tomorrow is the FA Cup. It's a very important match. Yeah, it's an important game, you know, it's a final and against Liverpool. Yes. Can I just say to any Chelsea fans watching, uh, this is pre-recorded, so as you're watching, Didier is in fact at home asleep resting. <laughs> are you at home asleep resting? Of course I am. Oh, you are. <laughs> now, the, the thing about you is extraordinary, because obviously you know, soccer is huge in this country, football is massive in this country, but I think there's only been, I think, three uh, soccer players ever have been on the cover of American uh, Vanity Fair, and uh, you're one of them. There you are. You and Ronaldo there, because that, I mean, that's a, that's a big deal. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Julie's going, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Yeah. You're going to plaster Paris with you. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> because, that, I mean, that sort of recognition on a, on a global yeah, scale it is. It, is, is, it, is. it was for the, for the World Cup 2010 in South Africa, and... Uh, it was a special edition, and uh, yeah, I think it was, was ni quite nice to be there. Yeah. Were you both there at the same time for that shoot? Yes. Was that a bit were. awkward? <laughs> that would be strange, like yeah. everybody was trying to oh, yeah. show them. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't it great that even really fit footballers have to do that? <laughs> <laughs> Don't do that. But was it like, was it like, oh, nice pants? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Hey, now, obviously, you've been at uh, Chelsea since 2004, okay. so uh, eight years. Is that? Yes, it is eight, eight years. Eight years, yeah. yeah. <laughs> 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 And obviously, I'm sure you're very happy there. I'm sure you're going to be there for many, 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 many yeah. years. I'm sure you have no intention of leaving and going anywhere. I love this club, you know, and, uh, you know, this, those last eight years have been the best in my career. Mm -hmm. and, I mean, in my entire life. You know, and uh, I'm happy in London, so I'm here. Okay. Now, the, the, the bit of your story, because, you know, obviously you're a very famous, successful footballer, but the bit of your story that's extraordinary is just that way, particularly in the Olympic year, I think, where sport and football can really make a difference. Because in, in Britain, I think football can often be divisive, and, you know, obviously there's, there'll be thousands of people delighted that uh, you're on the show because they love Chelsea. There'll be other people less thrilled because <laughs> you play for Chelsea and they're not so keen on Chelsea. But in your, in your home country, you ended a civil war through sport and through your... Yeah, I think... Uh... That must have been quite a goal. <laughs> <laughs> the, best, the, best, the best goal I've achieved in, in my life. But tell, t tell, us, tell, us, tell us what happened in the, in the Ivory Coast when... So, you qualified for the World Cup. Yeah, we qualified for the World Cup and uh, the country was in... Uh, uh, was divided in two, and um, there was a lot of tensions in the country. And we decided, the players decided to to send a message to to the politicians, and we went down on our knees and and asked them to put the guns down and organize some elections. And uh, I think this message was was a good one because uh, after that. We managed to, to, to organize elections and no, no war and everybody was happy. And, uh, because in Africa we are like, uh, football is a religion. So when I have a chance to be in my, in my position and, and send some messages, I, I do it and uh, I've, I'm lucky that people can listen to me. It's not just the, the message you're sending out, it's also you are, you know, you're doing a lot of work through fundraising and you've got a foundation, uh, the Didier Drogba Foundation. Yes. And this is you, I think, you're touring a, a hospital here. Uh, yeah. This is the hospital as it is now, is that correct? Yeah. You will see that it's not the best 
the best for kids, you know, and uh, especially I went to see a kid who's got, who had the leukemia and uh, in this condition he couldn't survive. So we took him to Switzerland trying to, to wow. save him. And are you, you're building new hospitals there, a new clinic? Yeah, yeah, I want to build a new, a new clinic and uh, I want to build uh, six clinics in the whole country. So it's a big challenge. I'm giving back to my, to my people. You really are. I mean, and also, you say football's a religion. If the, football's, you're the god. I mean, because they've no, got, no. there's, <laughs> they've got, what have they got? They've got a Didier Drogba, a Rue, Didier Drogba, Rue. They've got um, a village called Drogba, a beer called Drogba. <laughs> Is it true there's a, even a dance called Drogba Cité? Yeah. <laughs> So is it based on your moves, Drogba Cité? It's based on my moves, on the pitch, you know, and everything is around football, so it's quite fun. Can you show us some Drogba Cité moves? If I do, you do it as well. Oh, yeah, I do as well. Yeah. 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 Okay. Okay. So we've we'll, we'll, got, some, got some music, I'll just okay, copy we'll you. Okay, we'll do one move, yeah? Okay. We'll this, this oh, okay. Move. So we'll put some Drogba Cité music on. Okay, show me. Good morning. Okay. I can't tell you how relieved I am you didn't fall over. Because no, no, it would be terrible, the whole match would have been over, it would have been my fault. Yeah. Be... You ended a civil war, and that's the choreography. <laughs> bring someone else in. Right <laughs> Next goal, maybe. What's this bit? What's this bit? It's like a kiss, but like saying it's nice, you know. <laughs> yeah. Not a cigarette? No, 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 no. <laughs> It's a French chef, you know, mm, magnifique. Ah, magnifique, exactly. Yeah, mm, yeah, it's like, mm, yeah. Oh, that's sûr, huh? Because the dancing, because uh, footballers in this country, they have a reputation for going wild and going out and about. But we don't see you going that mad. You seem to have kind of a, a nice home life, you and your wife, oh, Lala. La. sometimes. <laughs> oh, OK, fair enough. Uh, <laughs> no, but I have... Um, you know, a uh, nice family and, uh, yeah, we're quiet. We don't need to, to be out there. It's very good. So you're a footballer who likes consensual sex with one person? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's really weird. <laughs> it's true. It's true. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Controversial. Because <laughs> you guys, you grew up in Essex. Did you, both of you grew up in Essex? Yes. Did you go clubbing in the same places? No. No. <laughs> I went a bit of time to, and envy. I went to Faces. Faces, there we go. At the venue. I went to Time and Envy once. Yeah. Once. What? And happened? it was a phone party and I had an allergic reaction and I had to leave. How embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> like in my best outfit. Got there, everyone was covered in fat, it was very dirty. Yeah. And I just sat, I got a rash. <laughs> <laughs> he was definitely there. <laughs> You're never having sex again, so I'm still... <laughs> people, people will see you across the room. There he is. <laughs> <laughs> Julie Waters. What? Did you meet your... <laughs> say. What? Leave me alone. I know. <laughs> what did, do you want to know? I, well, didn't you meet your... You met your husband in a club, didn't Mind you? Mind your own business. <laughs> The whole concept of chat show falling apart. <laughs> why, are you, why are you asking me all these questions? I'm tired. <laughs> but did you go clubbing a lot? Clubbing? Clubbing. Yes, but back at, Yes, I did in Birmingham. Yes. My mother didn't... Yeah. Yeah, yeah, what's that got to do with it? But isn't that where you met your husband? <laughs> oh, no, I met him in a bar. Oh, a bar? In Fulham, yes. Oh, in Fulham? It was really full of frightfully posh, posh people. It was full of who, what we used to call hooray Henrys. Everybody, everybody was frightfully posh. And I said, I remember saying at the time, I, bet no, I was a bit drunk. I remember saying, I bet nobody here is a member of the Labour Party. And he said, I am, actually. And that was it. And then we met, and then he came home and never moved out. <laughs> he mended my washing machine, told me I needed a pump. I misunderstood him. <laughs> Um. <laughs> oh, 
you. Uh, did did you follow a lot of that story, Didier? Didier, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, no. I'm you, sorry, Didier. You, 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 didn't, you didn't miss anything. I think the lesson learned is, Didier, <laughs> Didier, you're quite right not to go to clubs. Okay. Uh, <laughs> but we can all pretend that we are in a club now because oh. Jessica J. Jessica J. I love that. Jessica J. Jessica J. Jessica J. Jessica J. <laughs> Is about to perform. Did it again, Jessica. No, no, I just no, I said Jesse that time. Oh. Didn't I? Do it again, say my name again! <laughs> <laughs> you really don't like me, do you? Um, show's nearly over. Quick, quick, quick! <laughs> Jesse, Jesse. Uh, 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 so, Jesse, if you'd like to go and uh, get ready for the perform. Only... There you go. There you go. This is from uh, the reissue of her current album, performing her new single, Laserlight, featuring David Guetta. It is Jesse J. <laughs> In the blink of a night, I was falling from the sky. In the blur, you took my breath. And my heart starts beating And my lungs start breathing And the voice in my head starts screaming I'm alive You're like a laser light Burning down, burning down on me
hopeful Engelbert Humperdinck, comedy legend Chris Rock, and Twilight star Christian Stewart. I'll see you then. Good night, everybody. Bye-bye. Oh.